Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is highlighting the history and beauty of the Point Atkinson Lighthouse in West Vancouver. Lighthouse resides in the beloved Lighthouse Park in West Vancouver. The original name for the park was actually Point Atkinson when it was first founded by Captain George Vancouver in 1792. If you haven't been there before, the park itself is about 75 hectares in size and is hugely popular for those that love to go hiking or that just want to go explore the coastal wilderness. And of course, visitors get the added bonus of seeing a beautiful lighthouse. The original lighthouse was a wooden structure built in 1875, but was replaced with the current concrete structure that you see today in 1912. The Point Atkinson Lighthouse is a National Historic Site and was designated as such in 1974 due to its hexagonal reinforced concrete tower. This was an early example of this innovative design and was recognized due to that. It's surrounded by the Keeper's Cottage as well as some army huts that were built here during the Second World War. During this time, the lighthouse was actually used as a surveillance tool for the Burrard Inlet to keep on the lookout for enemy submarines and ships. The tower itself stands 59 feet tall and sits 108 feet above sea level. Upon construction in 1912, a vaporized oil lamp was the primary light source here until it was replaced with an electric light bulb in 1960. In 1935, a radio beacon was installed, which allowed vessels with receivers to pick up signals from Point Atkinson beyond the range of its lights and horns. There were 11 keepers at the station over the years until Point Atkinson became fully automated in 1996. Once this occurred, the last husband and wife team, Don and Elaine Graham, that had been the keepers here since 1980, had continued to still live on site, but Don had taken on the new role of groundskeeper and caretaker, while Elaine became a park guide and educator. But sadly, Dawn had passed away in 2003, so Elaine carried on all these roles until she officially retired from the grounds in September 2020. They both left a lasting legacy on this lighthouse, with their many years of service and contributions to the area, including two books that Dawn had written on life as a lighthouse keeper. So if you're in the area and you'd like to see this lighthouse in person, it's about a 15 or 20 minute walk downhill from the parking lot towards the southernmost tip of the park. Just be warned of the incline going back up to the parking lot when you are done, you're gonna get a little bit of a workout. It's a really beautiful park with lots of cool trails, fantastic ocean views, trees that are well over 500 years old, and of course, the lighthouse. And there are public washrooms and picnic tables as you approach the lighthouse area as well. The immediate grounds and tower itself are all closed to the public, but there are plenty of really good viewing points around it where you can still get a full view of the lighthouse. So I hope you enjoyed this and found it interesting. And if you've never actually been to this lighthouse and you're ever in the Vancouver area, I highly recommend that you go check it out. If you like this video, please do hit that like button. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you wanna see more content like this. Just please make sure you actually hit that bell notification to get notified every time I do post a new video. And if you're on Instagram, you can follow Lighthouse Buffs there as well. I do post content there also. And on a final note, if you like beaches and oceans, I do have another main channel called All Things Ocean. I'll put the link in the description below for that one if you want to check that content out as well. Have a great week, you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.